So there have been two new startling announcements by Google that have not been covered. And I think this is one of these two announcements are two of the most important announcements that Google has made this year apart from, of course, you know, the one they made five, five days ago. But the reason why this is so important is because now Google is rolling out tools to tag and watermark and track AI generated images. Now, if they can do this for images, and I'll get into how they're going to do this, if they can do this for images, then they can do it for text. There is obviously going to be repercussions for people, website owners or business owners who use these images on their websites. Over time, what will happen is you're going to be uh, you're going to see that these are going to be devalued um, because, uh, you know, AI generated images, as far as I have seen, they all practically look the same. They all practically follow the same pattern and the same goes for AI written content. So two bills on our found fundamental research and our latest infrastructure. It's highly capable at a wide range of tasks and easy to deploy. We are announcing over 25 products and features. Oh, before I go into this video, uh, like and subscribe. Also, I do SEO for a living, so there's a link in the description. Click on the link, fill out the form, and I will try to get in touch with you as soon as possible. Um, so back to this. So there are two announcements that were made uh, yesterday by Google, and the first was that they were going to be tracking uh, AI-generated image, images, specifically those generated by BARD. Now, Google has said that they will also be working with other AI generation uh, companies, uh, maybe like uh, DeepMind or also um, Bing or other companies that generate AI, gen that generate these AI images um, to watermark them. And so the reason for that is they don't want people spreading misinformation. Now, what starts off really as a misinformation kind of thing, like this is why we're doing it, and will eventually roll out to people who are using this on their websites because you know Google will not see these AI generated images as adding any value, except for, of course, aesthetic value. So if you're using this aesthetically, you're probably not gonna have a problem, at least in the foreseeable future. But if you're using this to make money, like you know, you're trying to sell a product with these images and you're not crediting AI, or if you've got a business that's based on selling these images as your own original art, uh, then you're going to have a problem. So that's the first announcement. There's also that all these people that have made these videos that you can use AI, gen AI to generate all of this art and then make millions of dollars online. Really just, these are just bad ideas and I don't think you should be getting into those uh, because uh, moving forward, Google, uh, Microsoft has also said they're cared that they're going to be watermarking a lot of their text that's been generated by AI and also images. So that announcement is also going to be made uh, sometime later this year. And then these companies are going to partner. They're going to make sure that the images that are generated uh, using their products are watermarked in some way. Now, I do admit that watermarking images is easier comparatively than watermarking text. Um, but I think Google is already watermarking its AI-generated text, and I mean, I've seen the patterns in it, and I think that um, their uh, open eye is also doing the same thing, and because I see this happening a lot, because, uh, they're, they're, if you generate text, you see this regenerative, you see this pattern of text that's regenerative across the entire volume of text that you generate. So whether you're talking about the Eiffel Tower or you're talking about the Burj Khalifa, um, the way the text is put together is a, is the same. Um, but a lot of these AI detection, you know, like originality AI and stuff like that, these don't really work as advertised. To me, they're just snake oil. If you're paying them money, you're just putting money down the, down the drain because they don't have the inside scoop on the algorithm. The second thing that uh, Google announced was that you would be able to tell if this image uh, is where it was sourced from, so its original source, and this is ties into the previous announcement. So if you look at an image, uh, let's say Bill Gates as a poor man, I will tell you where this image originally came from. So if I generated this image and this image was put on my website, 
but then it was shared across 100 social media websites or other websites um, then I will be credited with the original image and you'll be able to tell where the source of the image is and then obviously see all the variations of it and so regardless of how many variations there are I will be the original creator and be credited with that image or I would say miscredited because it will be seen as someone who has created misinformation and obviously that would also mean that my website will be penalized uh, moving forward if I have a lot of these images on my website I could be penalized so two problems here uh, my recommendation is if you're going to use AI images don't use it in a way that you're making money off them um, by selling them as your original creations and the second is um, if you're going to use AI generated images make sure that they're marked as AI generated you know, put in a caption that this image was generated by AI. Even if you're selling t-shirts with AI generated images, make sure that it is labeled as AI generated. And I think, don't think you're going to have a problem with this. So when exactly is this rolling out? I think within the next two or three weeks, we will start be seeing, we'll start seeing Google about as Google is calling this. And then we're going to see partnerships within the next uh, year or so with other AI generation platforms. Uh, and then obviously then you're not going to be able to use this as and call it your own creation but uh, it's, it's still left to be seen so if you like the video like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video